Magic is real, it was used in ancient times and is still being used today. Crazy enough you've used it before, subconsciously, both constructively and destructively on yourself and those around you. How do I know? Because magic equals energy, which is what we call it today. Your personal inner magic, your inner energy, can be manipulated to manifest any desire, whether it's positive or negative. That's why magic has sometimes gotten a bad reputation in religion, because of the fear of the unknown and the potential for it to be used for destructive purposes as some of our ancestors did, but not all of them abused it negatively. And don't worry, we're only here to teach you how to use it positively. Magic is not a fantasy or fairy tale, it's a fundamental truth ancient cultures like Kemet or Egypt deeply understood. The Emerald Tablets of Tahuti, also known as Thoth the Atlantean, contain wisdom about this inner power. Tahuti writes, Wouldst thou gain knowledge of power, seek ye it in the heart of the flame. This flame isn't literal, it refers to the core of your being where your life force energy resides. Tahuti continues, Know, O man, thou art complex, a being of earth and fire. Let thy flame shine out brightly, be thou only the fire. He's telling us we're not just physical beings, we are beings of energy, of fire. This fire is our soul force, our chi, our inner magic. Tahuti explains further, Wisdom is hidden in darkness when lit by the flame of the soul. Find thou the wisdom and be light-born, a son of the light without form. This flame is the essence of our consciousness, our soul, the source of our wisdom and power. He encourages us to seek ever more wisdom, saying, Seek ye within thine own hidden flame. The power we seek is not outside of us, it's within. This concept didn't remain confined to ancient Egypt. The Egyptians called it Heya, in India it became Prana, and in China it's called Chi. All these traditions are talking about the same thing, the energy that animates all living things. It's the force that healers manipulate, that martial artists cultivate, and that mystics tap into for spiritual practices. The effects and power of this energy depend on how you develop it and your intention. Today, modern science is catching up, exploring concepts like biofields and energy medicine. What our ancestors called magic we now call energy manipulation. If you want to learn how to manipulate your personal energy, stay tuned. We'll teach you practical techniques that have been hidden from you, knowledge that can transform your life. This isn't just about personal power. It's about realizing every thought, emotion, and action you take is an energy event, rippling out and affecting the world around you. You are a co-creator of reality. Ever felt a weird tingling when someone stares at you, or warmth when hugging someone you love? That's energy. That's magic. The scale of your magic depends on how you develop it. Now let's get practical. How do you start working with this energy, and wake up your inner magic? It's not about waving wands or chanting spells, it's about feeling and directing the energy already inside you. Try this. Sit comfortably, and close your eyes. Focus on where your breath enters and exits your nostrils. Feel the coolness as you breathe in, and the warmth as you breathe out. Don't control your breath, just watch it. You might start feeling a tingling sensation. That's your energy body waking up. Stick with it, and you'll start noticing changes. As you continue practicing, let's discuss a powerful breathing technique called Nadi Shodhana, or alternate nostril breathing. It helps balance your energy by alternating your breath between your nostrils, calming your mind, and boosting your energy. Or try visualizing energy by rubbing your hands together, holding them apart, and imagining a ball of energy forming between them. Keep breathing and visualizing feeling the energy grow stronger. This is real magic, learning to sense and direct your energy. Remember, these practices take time to master, but once you do, you can transform your life. This isn't just about personal practices, it's about how you interact with the world. Learn to manage your energy, direct it toward your goals, and become aware of how thoughts and emotions affect the world around you. Stay connected with nature, and use its energy to recharge. As you progress, you may develop extraordinary abilities like increased intuition or sensing energy fields. But remember, these aren't supernatural powers. They're natural outcomes of aligning with universal energy. This is the path of the true magician. Magic is real because magic equals energy, and it's up to you to master it for your highest good and the good of others.